this is our lesson two. We are learning here uh, regarding star sapphires in corundum family. In lesson one, we learn prior croissant. Now we are learning how stars are occurring. First of all, we have to understand this. This is uh, the prism, glass prism. And the white light is coming in this path and it will little bit turn inside the glass because outside is air, inside is glass. Inside the glass, light is turning little bit the angle. After that, again it is passed into air. Then again it is turning, little bit turning and breaks all the seven colors includes in the white light. This is called spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet are the colors from top to bottom. These are the colors. When we place a white sheet here, we can get the colors to this, uh, to this uh, paper. This is called rainbow, rainbow colors. Corundum is formed from all these seven colors and white also, then all together eight colors. Then this is the incidence we have to understand. We need everywhere this concept. White light is breaking into seven colors. So the white light is consists of these seven colors. Then these are the rainbow seven colors. All the corundums are there. Green, very slightly bluish green, bluish green, very strong bluish green, green blue, very strongly greenish blue, greenish blue. There are a lot of names are written here. You can visit this without my help because all the colors are given green, blue, violet, red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. All the seven colors are there. These are the seven colors. Now we are moving to how the star is created, how star is occurring inside the stones. We need to understand very well this. So carefully listen to this. Light rays are coming perpendicular to the rotile. These are the rotile needles, rotile, uh, needle-like rotile lines. All the lines are parallel. These are inside the gemstone. Layers of rotile fibers lying parallel to each other like needles inside the stone. The stone is, stone consists only one parallel layer. Then, perpendicular to the this para, per, perpendicular to the to this uh, parallel layer, light rays are coming. Then see what's happening. When the light comes perpendicular to the this surface, when we can see the light like this line, this is the line created by the physics. It is called moving cat's eye effect or chatoyancy. Moving cat's eye effect is this because of these parallel rays and these parallel fiber rotiles layers. Then this is called cat's eye effect or chatoyancy. These are the needle like rotile fiber. It consists of titanium oxide, TiO2 titanium oxide fiber. Because of this titanium oxide fiber, this moving cat's eye effect is occurring. When we move the stone to this side and this side, what is happening is this moving cat's eye effect is moving this side and this side always. When we, the arrow shows the directions to move the stone. This string then moves on both sides of the stone while turning the stone. This line is 
moving this side and this side. So this is the line. So this is called cationcy effect or cat cat's eye effect. This is the stone chrysoberyl, not the corundum family. This is chrysoberyl family. The next lesson, next part we are learning. I forgot the name of the lesson. This is lesson two now. Then three or four, maybe five. We are learning chrysoberyl. Then cat's eye effect is this. This is the physics we have to understand. Then shall we move to next? It is different. It is a star sapphire. See, there are three lines, one over the other. Crossing with this point. This is the crossing point. There are three lines. Earlier we saw only one line. To create one line, we need one rotile layer, parallel rotile layer. So to create three lines, we need three layers. Now look at carefully string one. This string one is creating with this parallel line. Can you see this triangular parallel line? Both sides, this side and this side. It is one line, one layer. Then another layer is here, string two. See, here and here. String one and string two is, what is the angle? 120 degrees angled in between this layer and this layer, it is 60. 60 degrees. This angle is 60 degrees. Then when it turns another 60 degrees, this layer comes, this layer, and the other layer. So here there are three layers, rotile layers. The layers of rotile fibers are inclined at 60 degrees to each other, resulting in three strings intersecting at the same point. Intersecting point is this. Then when light waves come perpendicular to the surface, it creates three strings it is like moving star. So this is called blue star sapphire. Silk layers at the bottom or inside of the cut stone are made with six threads. This is the light, light waves. So this is called star. Star effect is this. To create star effects inside sapphires, there are, uh, there are three layers Incline at 60 degrees to each other, resulting these three strings. Then we can understand, we can understand the star. This is Chattavansi with the cat's eye. One, one thread, here three. It is inclined 60 degrees and intersecting here. These string, these threads must be very thin and silver color and this joint this intersecting point must be a point not a blur area so it is the best star star sapphires must flat not big boomed flat stars are very expensive so now we know understand what is that effect now look at this Sixty degree inclined golden fiber layers in lone area, 60 degrees. Another one. You can see here inside the stone, inside the sapphire, inside the corundum, there are three layers, one over the other. You can understand here, this is inside the stone. Three layers of needle-like parallel rotile fibers are inclined at 60 degrees. Fiber layers in the stone here, 60 degrees all the layers here. These are the cut and polished stones. This cut called cabochon, cabochon, doom shape. We are polishing only the top side and the bottom side is natural. We don't polish or cut. Then top side, it is the star ruby. These two are uh, blue stars. This is called star ruby. This is not star blue. It is blue star. 
when the stone is turned to both sides both sides in the direction of a string cross like x shiv made of the other two strings on that string moves back and forth here when we turn this in this 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 direction this cross is moving this side and the other side both moving angles must be same then it is good quality stone then these are the star sapphires of different colors look at the colors all the stars then look here yellow sapphires are very rare the reason is you can learn the reason when you come to 52 lesson number 52 then this is the color change color change stars natural light artificial light the fineness of the string and the uniformity of the rolling on both sides increase the price of the stone as the fiber layer improves the color fades and the string weakens as the color improves. When the color improves, string is weak. When the string is powerful, the color is dull. It is natural. Now we, we can move to lesson number three next. Okay.